What's going on, everybody? It's Tree from Tree Talks here. And this is take number three of CrewCast episode number 26, but I think today's the day it finally gets through. We got the original four in the building. Larry! It's Fitz. <laughs> dude, how the hell the are you, dude? Oh, you know, feeling good. Part of life. Partial reason why the other podcast didn't go so well is because you weren't here, and I felt... I felt like the people that watched the podcast would have felt a significant deselect for the pod if you were. <laughs> That's I think you're, fair. You're a people favorite out there. That's fair. Well, thanks, folks. It feels good. So you've been grinding Fortnite lately? Yeah, I've been grinding. Been grinding I, this I, season. I don't even Did you say that. I see it like at one p.m. till five a.m. You just sending your stats. <laughs> what's been so, your... Well, that's that was that was in the old day. Now I don't make it past about two. I'm, no. a, I'm in bed. You've been tired. Then. Yeah, and then I'm up by like 10. By so 2 a.m.? Like, yeah. That's weak, dude. I know. Weak. We're all going downhill. We're and all I'm, weak and sauce I'm, And I'm now. going uphill. Dude, yeah. I've been, I've been trying to go to bed. I go to bed about 11 midnight. Yeah. Every it night. just happens. I mean, I mean, we're getting over there. You know, <laughs> you know, one of the kids that we graduated with, I'll just say James, shared, <laughs> shared uh, a picture to, or posted a status the other day. It was yeah. like... Since, like, I don't, I know I'm getting old and I don't have a woman to love me. I'm just going to buy toys and guns. I'm like, dude, you're literally 21. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. He's cashed out. He's good. He's cashed out. I mean, he's experienced some shit. After being in the Marines, just, he's out. He's (laughs) He's been rugged. (laughs) Since, <laughs> since, since, I've seen, since I met him in the seventh grade, me, Ty, the whole family is rugged. <laughs> I'm telling I'm you, just adding a man's whole. Family I'm sorry, right now. but like, like his stepbrother, I won't I'll, say his name. Yeah, but. but like, I know their whole family. <laughs> yeah, and the mom and the dad, they're both. Rugged. <laughs> rugged. And they're awful in their own ways, I guess. I don't know. You don't even know. It's just toxic. You did kid. Oh, you, yeah, you grew up. Yeah, I grew up. Me and no, my brother. No, I know the, those. He, yeah, yeah, his dad's nuts. I grew up with them. Dude, I, I, me and him crazy. used to be really good friends when we were younger. And then him and my brother became really good friends. And then I was we were at each other's houses Ooh. all the time. It was brutal times, bro. Dude, me and James were in the same, like, advisory class with Ty mm-hmm. and fucking Jake. And James used to come in in an oversized jacket and a wife beater. And we used to just make fun of him for being poor. Like, <laughs> like, like, like every, that's, that's so bad. every time we'd walk in, Ty would just be like, you're looking raggedy today, James. <laughs> <laughs> you wore that wife beater two days ago. <laughs> so he would just show up to school in a wife, wife beater. beater. Yeah. He does. He Absolutely. still does. There was, like, two people, I think, in our class that would always just show up in wife beaters. And they both look like they'd be. Storm. Yeah. 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 That's that's too specific. (laughs) We did have a wild storm in the valley fucking recently. It was. Speaking of storms. (laughs) Wonder if it was him. Yeah. Well, Cause of the storm. He would. Wonder if he was angry. He would just channel. It was a freak. Inner, he would channel his inner powers and just yeah. make a storm. He's blow. like Braun Strowman. In He's definitely life. one of the guys that would shoot up a school. Dude, that kid. <laughs> that kid. I remember we play uh, football during lunch in like uh, the seventh yeah. and eighth grade, and he was always a top pick, dude. He was, he was fast. He was. Dude, he was fast. He would always wear his boots and. He would like get the ball and he would just freaking. He was fast. He would and still it was be like, fast with his boots. Like back in, <laughs> back in that oh, time, bro. I feel like we were all kind of still small. Yeah, he was big. But that guy was like, he was 6'4. Yeah. 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 He was he was like six four. Six four. We had a thirty five year old playing and, fucking and he football. Ran, and yeah. he did like have four two. Dude. And he had a yeah. beard. And he had a beard too. In the seventh grade, yeah. he did. I thought and he, he ran like a four two forty. I thought he was a behemoth. I thought he was a grown man. <laughs> seventh grade, that's a behemoth. That's he still behemoth. He didn't have hands. But he I probably didn't grow. He didn't have hands. At one point, I asked him if he got held back ten times on a in a row, but he said no. I'm in seventh grade. I'm like, you sure you didn't get held back? Not even one year, maybe five. And he's like, no, I'm the, in seventh grade. The wild like, thing oh. is, he just stopped 
Brown in seventh grade. He still yeah. was a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was just normal to everyone else. I'm yeah. like, fuck, okay. Well, that's what I was saying, too. He played football in seventh grade. If he, had, if he just got, like, his head on right and he just, like, learned plays, that guy would have been a fucking behemoth yeah. on the field, dude. Yeah, he would have really really been an animal. The high school would have been like, all right, you're playing for us. Yeah, they would have just called him up. Yeah. <laughs> they would have just... Eighth grade. <laughs> seventh grade just calls him up. Plays yeah. fucking right outside linebacker. Because <laughs> he's so he's fast. Like, fucking go. Linebacker. In a 3 4 scheme. Oh, no. So he's blitzing. He's blitzing. <laughs> he's, he's, every, every and time. he's 4 2 speed, so that's. He'd be like the Waterboy stats. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. 19 sacks in one game. Yeah. Just it's dangerous. He's getting recruits at that time, high school recruits. Yeah. Putting up the Shit, numbers. he's more like getting NFL recruits now. Yeah, 19 sacks, the water boy status. Yeah, yeah doesn't right. even have to go to college. No, straight, straight to the school college. Yep. Yeah, he's like, fuck it. I'm Mama said he's going to the NFL. Yeah. Speaking of the NFL, the schedules got released today. Yeah, it's not midnight yet. We recorded this one real late tonight. Um, and I think we all feel like we have easy schedules. Oh yeah. Is that? Do you think that's just the fan, the fanboys in us, or do you actually think your schedules are? Pretty oh no, easy? I'm not even like a huge fanboy, and it's like I really think, other than like us, we'll probably lose to the Ravens once, because we always do. That's just the way it goes. Other than that, we'll probably go like fifteen and one or whatever. Dude, I'm saying I want to go to Jacksonville for a game this year, and I'm I think we should go to the Pittsburgh game because that game. Dude, that that would be dope. Because that game always gets interesting. Me and Turo can go to a Seahawks game then. Dude, that'd yeah. be mad greasy. But Everybody's the thing is, too, is we can spend two weeks in Jacksonville. This would never happen. Yeah. We probably could never swing it. But we could spend two weeks in Jacksonville, watch the Pittsburgh game and the Browns game. Me, you, and, Br- and Barn. Because we play Pittsburgh and Cleveland back-to-back. Oof. At home. At home. Dude, imagine. Dude, dude. <laughs> could you imagine dude, two weeks in Jacksonville? There's Barnage, probably Barnage, nothing to do. We would end up living there. <laughs> but Barnage has told me after the game in Arizona that he is not going to any other game unless it's in Cleveland. Until they're good. No, unless it's in Cleveland. He wants to do it at his their home field. Believe mm-hmm. land. Yeah. Who do you guys start your season against? We play the Colts. We're going to smoke them. I Fuck start off Rivers. at the Dolphins. And then we go to the Seahawks at the Seahawks. So that's the game me and Turo could go to. Dude, that'd be ill as fuck. How many primetime games do you guys have? Let me check. I just want to say we start off with the defending NFC champions, 49ers. And I think we'll, rock. I think it's going to be a barn burner of a game, but I think we're going to win. Start out the season we have We have five primetime games. How many night games do the Patriots have, Cam? Mm, they're just showing the dates. I don't know the dates of the primetime. We're the first Monday night uh, game of the season. Dude, all I, 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 I don't know. The schedule I'm looking at, it's, not, it's just showing the dates. Uh, I don't know what dates are which are which. Dude, we have one. And it's a Thursday night game, week three. <laughs> against the Dolphins. There what you go. Barn, That's the one barn. to win, huh? That's the one. To, well, we start off. We play Indy, Tennessee, Miami, Cincy, Houston, Detroit. That's yeah. That's that's a fucking good stretch. Yeah, but then all of them. to end the season, we play Green Bay, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Minnesota, Baltimore, Chicago. Six games in a row. That's a that, tough stretch. You, there, you'll that's where you'll beat you. the Bears, and that's it. <laughs> oh, we're in Pittsburgh, dude. No way. Pittsburgh's coming to Jacksonville, dude. You're fucking shit. I mean, that game gonna be sold out. Oh yeah, we start. And we'll have front row tickets, <laughs> dude. Fuck. The last time Arizona started uh, uh, the season at the San Francisco Forty ers in two thousand eight when we went to the bowl. <laughs> so we'll see you there, Col- Steelers. Colts doesn't through. give a fuck about those stats. <laughs> they hate those stats. I know exactly. Stats it's like you're worse than the NFL. Game. Like, but I like <laughs> I like the. Schedule, honestly, we face the Redskins, the Lions, Panthers, Jets, and then the Cowboys after the opener against the 49ers. And that's a good six-game stretch to start the season. So is Steinham going to get the job done or what? You know, I don't, I believe in him. He shows a lot of consistency. Uh, well, here and there. Uh, 
He shows that he could play, though. But, I don't know. He's got really early tough matches. Week 2 against Seattle. And then the Chiefs, I think it's like week oh, 5. Well, that's and then, like, week 5 or week 4, I think. Um, so, I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough year for us, but at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be be a good year. Uh, like I don't know, uh, we play the Bills twice a year. We play the Chiefs uh, twice a year. It looks like this season. No, oh no, we're playing yeah, once a year this time. And Dolphins, Bills, and Jets. I mean, I don't know. The Bills could be tough. The Bills might be the challenge. Jets, no, I ain't worried about them. Dolphins, definitely yeah, no. I, Not I, with their new quarterback. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of everybody saying Sam Darnold's an all right quarterback. No, he's, he's bad. Not. Sam he's Darnold bad. is a bad quarterback. There's he's bad. Like, he's in the lowest tier. There's these TikToks where like people say like quarterbacks' names would be like average. They always go in average. Like, never bad. It's like, what has Sam Darnold Has he ever done? had a winning season? No. no. He's been in the league like two or three yeah. years. But the only thing I'm really worried but about... still, it's like... It's yeah, but out. he's... I, yeah. I honestly he gave hope... Le'Veon. I hope Le'Veon uh, just gets the hell out of the way. I want Frank Gore to run wild. 37 years old, man. You Why would. not? Loki, the only thing that I am worried about the Patriots season is, though, we have three... <coughs> Road games back to back. We have the Chargers, the Rams, and the Dolphins at 13, 14, and 15. Oh, you got two West Coast games back to back. So, I mean, like, that, I. And then we have the Bills and then the Jets. So, I mean, like, we have four, three conference games, well, league games at the end of the season, and then three home, three away games right before those. And then, so I don't know. I, I feel like that's definitely going to be a really tough mindset for the Patriots to be in, especially for Steinham. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be a challenge. Belichick's going to have to fucking coach him up. I feel like if if, Kel, if Belichick gets into the playoffs and makes it past like the first couple seeds, it makes like in the final eight or the final four, he's definitely going to be coach of the year. He's got to be. There's just I mean, no argument. Gonna... There's just no argument about that. If he's going to take a no, literally a who, who do we have on our offense? Who? Yeah, Besides but, Julian Edelman, yeah, but if you put him, to, but if you put him to any other true. team, he's a third. He's a he's a he's a third of best, maybe two. I'm just saying, like Mike Tomlin should have won Coach of the Year. No, last year? year, no, he, he should have last year. Making it as far as he did with our third string quarterback. That's true. That's true. That's a doubt. And, I forgot and about that. Juju honestly. wasn't. He was hurt most of the year. Dude, and Doc Hodges was honestly like one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen play. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was surprised they, I was surprised they kept him and they didn't bring in the practice squad quarterback. Dude, Dude he was we bad. Had, I think the one after that was Deontay Johnson, which is like one of the wide receivers. That would have been awesome. Or no, 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 it was Paxton Lynch. Oh, yeah. We have Paxton Lynch as our fourth string quarterback. Yeah, I don't know why you never just brought in Paxton Lynch. Well, because we, we won games with Duck. Yeah. There were some games that he did win. He, uh, he, like, it was, I think, I'm pretty sure it was prime time against, like, it was someone random like the Eagles or yeah. someone really bad, but he beat him like twenty seven to seven or something like that. Just smoked him. Well, what do you think of James Conner this year? If the guy can stay healthy, he's gonna be a beast. But he Dude, can't top running back. But yeah. he can't stay healthy. I'm just saying if Dude, he can. I, I James a big Conner is because such that, a fucking that first year he started. He didn't get hurt once, and he was a beast. He rushed for like twelve hundred yards, thirteen hundred yards. Fantasy football Could this you year. Compare him to a David Johnson, then. No, he's just well, always injury prone, and if he is one year, he might have a bust out season. Just yeah. If they keep I mean, it like together. if if he can stay, if he can stay healthy, he'll be good. It's a thing. Well, that's what I'm saying is fantasy's going to be a bitch this year. Yeah. Because, like, there's a clear-cut number one overall guy, but then after that it's like, where are you going? Clear-cut number one to me is Christian McCaffrey, no doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get CMC number one overall no matter what. I think he's going to fall off this year. There's Too no much way. pressure. Like, if he falls off, it'll be like a fall-off where it's, like, still impressive. But not Still, like eight hundred yards no, rushing. They're gonna do some like no. read option shit with Teddy Bridge. I think it's gonna be classic Teddy Bridgewater. You think Teddy Bridgewater on the Vikings? Yeah. Like I think Teddy Teddy, Teddy good, would man. still be the franchise QB there if things didn't boil out as bad as it did for him. Yeah. Where do you think Cam's going? 
Cam goes. Anyway. I think it's going to the Redskins. I think it's gonna. I think. I think. Come Hask, on, dude. I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be. I think the season will start. Haskins has a couple awful weeks, and then he'll be signed. Is Alex Smith not going to be healthy? Probably not. I no. Him, did you I see what him, I, I seen him in a birthday video today? He kind of did look pretty good. Did you see? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, but but he Alex had the, Smith is yeah, but he had the same injury about the same. Uh, who was that one? Joe Thiesman. Joe Thiesman. Yeah, Joe. He had the same injury as Joe Thiesman. Everything, so everything was the same. So I mean, like, except one, Alex Smith is a freaking beast. Yeah, but one hit to that leg. So is Joe Thiesman. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So is yeah, Joe Thiesman. That's so, all one, so one more, one more <laughs> hit. Alex is done. Like, <laughs> done. Yeah, but did Tyson... Said, but Alex Smith is a baller. Dude, he did, is a baller. Did Tyson come Did back? he not ball it up on the Chiefs? Tyson, he did, but he, he got hurt again. He balled it up for the Niners, too. He balled it up for the Niners. He did it for the Chiefs. He got Wait, fucked he's over. Ever, he got fucked over on the, the skins. He never won a ring, but he's he's basically Nick Foles. But the, the better he, version... He's okay. a better version of Tony Romo. But did Tyson come back from the leg injury no. and play? Or did he just retire? I think he was done. I think he just retired. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, think Alex Smith. I think Alex Smith's coming back. And he's he's going to come back and he's, he's going to Yeah, but Dwayne Haskins has a starting job. He has, he's going to have to fight it back from Dwayne. Okay, and that, there's no way. That's not hard. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You Dwayne. see my face. I'm yeah. like, yeah, right. right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alex Smith Haskins has the job. Yeah, but maybe maybe it. that's gonna, maybe maybe that right there is going to want Haskins to drive to play better. Because he knew... The backup isn't going to take Haskins' job because Haskins was the backup. But so Alex string. Smith is the type of guy that it doesn't matter what roster he has around him. I feel like he'll go like ten and six. Yeah, yeah. at least <laughs> even on the skins. Yeah, like he could go ten and six. He could have a winning season. Would have AP yeah. just go off for a thousand yards? It's that easy and that simple yeah. in that offense. McLaurin, they have a decent. Who's your fa- um, Who's your favorite? That, that division sucks. Average yeah. football player. Ooh. Your favorite, just like he's Winston. just average, uh, mm. more average than that. I'm talking like you know what you know what name you know what Ryan name Fitzpatrick. You know what name gets my freaking bird like this? That's true. Like, Chris Ivory. Oh, dude, no. Chris Ivory with the Jets, dude. Dude, he was a beast. Oh. no, if you're speaking about Chris, it's Chris Johnson. Oh, that was he's dude, true Chris at the Johnson. end of his career. Oh, he was no, way more. He was way yeah. more than average. He was elite back in the. Yeah, yeah but at the end, he was kind of just. I always average. liked T.J. Hushmanzada. T.J. Hushmanzada is always one of my favorite mediocres. Dude, just Brian Fitzpatrick. Dude, Vincent is Vincent, Vincent Jackson, Jackson, dude. Vincent True. Jackson. True. Or uh, who's that wide receiver on the Jets that you really like? Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson. Dude, he's a bunch of. And now he's on the. Beast. Panthers. Is he? I didn't yeah. even know he got signed. Got signed to the Panthers. What a beast. <laughs> D.D. Westbrook. He's fucking average. <laughs> average as fuck. Dude, who's James Washington? I like James Washington. Average as fuck. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a ball. Oh, dude. As fuck. He had some good, uh... Average people. He had some good connections this year. He definitely stepped up this year. Yeah, that's kind of like what Shark did. Shark stepped up. Well, because he, like he didn't have connections with... Mason, Mason yeah, they, or, so, I mean, it's yeah, like, they used to play in high school. Or you not just high school. go, you, State, you go State, back yeah. to what you know. I yeah. feel like you're just getting back mm-hmm. to the people that you're aware of. Yeah. But I don't know. Fantasy's gonna be a bitch. All right, Cam. I hope you remember this. Yeah, I was just about to say. I was like, I was, right, I was like, enough football talk. I was like, I felt like that's going on for a little bit too long. I was, I was gonna say, story time, bitches. Story time <laughs> with Cam gets his own segment. Brought to you in part by absolutely nothing. If you want to sponsor this great podcast, you can me. All right. All right, go ahead. All right, so back in the day when I was just a little youngin, I'd say about freshly eighteen. Woo. Yeah, I'd say about Ooh. then. Back when I was living in my last three years. Ago. Back, yeah, I'd say three years ago, back when I was living in my trap days. Yeah, when he was trapping. It's pretty fantastic, but shitty at the same time. No, I don't recommend it. You really it. just need to ex- you need experience it. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, experience life would be great. You it's need good. to be it's, trashy for at least like one year. It's, it's good for you. It teaches <laughs> I was you, trashy for one year. It teaches you a lot of things. So, But in that experience of me living in the trap house, this one day, we all tried to do uh, this uh, psychedelic called uh, acid 
right. Never heard of her. LSD. Uh, <laughs> and, never heard of her. Never heard of her. <laughs> and uh, so we're doing it, and, you know, we're chilling, having a great time, and we're dabbing stuff in an uh, illegal state, so it's pretty great. Yeah. And uh, we're, we go through about uh, me, and my, me and my buddy over here. Uh, you, none of you guys know him. I would say we go through about 15 grams of oil. Jesus. And about a... a lot. Si- I'm, not, I'm not kidding. In a 10-hour time frame, we went through 15 grams. That's crazy. I don't, I don't even... Yes. I don't even want that smoke. I don't by, wish I want, upon I anybody. And by, by the seventh hour, I texted my friend because we lived at the same... We lived like in a, tri- like a triplex, so it was three apartments. Yeah. I was in the back, he was in the front. So I texted him and I was like, hey, you want a dab? And he's like, bro, I can't. And I was like, why? We've been doing it all night. What's stopping you now? And he's like, my balls hurt. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what? And he's like, you know, when you take a dab so much, my balls are just starting to hurt. I don't know why. And I was like, I think it's just the drugs you're on, bro. I think you're chilling. And I was like, no, come over here and take a dab and just tell me. I was like, all right, bet. So I go over there and I take a, I, I, he's like, but you have to take a fat dab. It only happens when you take a fat dab. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, he's like, I'm trying to have my balls hurt just like you, Fred. I want to see if this is, I want to see if this, I want to see if this is actually real. So I took a fat dab, I mean a fat dab, this was easily probably like a gram and a half. And then so I take it and I'm dying afterwards. And in the process of dying, I look him in the eyes and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> My balls do hurt, bitch. Why? Because you're just coughing so hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's literally uh, that, the expression coughing my balls off. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what that's what I was that's, from. But you know, being on, being on this uh, psychedelic drug, we didn't we didn't think about that. So we're like, man, these dives are rough. We're not gonna buy these ones anymore. Dude. And then that's about it. Top of the line, most stoned I've ever been is Hempfest Point One and Hempfest Point Two. <laughs> Dude, the, he, the, yeah, uh, the, that first Hempfest, I got blazed. We, we, we didn't deserve first Hempfest. Okay, and we, 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 we didn't honest, deserve it. To be honest. I loved it. Every I did, moment yeah, of it. Too. We Every did not know what it was it. about. <laughs> we went to Hempfest. We're like, oh yeah, you know, we'll just smoke like a joint in the. You know, the, wherever, and just be high. Then, like, those edibles were... A game real. changer. Dude, those are real. Yeah, dude. Those are the realest... And they took it might, it might have just be, been because we're, like, super young, but, like, those were, like, real. So, <laughs> straight up, when you when you go to Hempfest, at least back in the day, I haven't been recently. I know you've been kind of recently, yeah. haven't you? Like when's the few most years, recent? Like three years ago. And it's not like how it used to be, is it? Well, no, because no. literally the so we went there that one year and we would just stand in line. There's always just like one big line for edibles. Yeah. And because there's just one person that sells them, and then they like got all butt hurt about it, I guess. And like the next year, it wasn't like that. You had to like be sneaky about it and like oh. find some people that were selling like you know crystals and rugs and shit like that homemade ones that's so dumb yeah but those ones that the i bought they're pretty good too yeah i mean that's where you want to go if you want to get like the high quality shit yeah but like hempfest fucking 1.0 i just remember we planned it we planned it for a while oh yeah dude. and dude i had my i know my parents listen to this too so i'm just you know I'm coming out with it yeah coming out full full-fledged trust i would tell my and we went for like three straight years, and I told my mom the same lie every time. Colton's mom just likes taking us to his yearly concert in Moscow yeah. for the last three years. So I had a whole lie planned out, everything. <laughs> was ready to fuck. On 420 me. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My parents just didn't so happen to be. And then freaking. We spent the night. We'd always spend the night. It was like the night before Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> the night at Colton. We'd all wake up as early as we could and just. Drive off the next day in my mom's car. Every year I took my mom's car. <laughs> and it was great because we, we all, like, waited. We got there at 10 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we got, so early. We got, I was always on everybody's asses about getting up early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, for real, that was peak Colton. 
Like, making sure everyone was up and ready. Dude, that's like... We were, like, the first ones in the line, though, so... We were. Credit dude, that, to Coles. Because that, that line got, like, 20, 50 it times so the sizes it was. Yeah. There was, was like probably, like, there was like yeah. five or six people in line in front of us. And it was and hilarious, once, though, because we all ate yeah. one of the, uh, the edibles. Yeah. And we waited. And then Gary's like, over here like just... Like, 45 minutes. Gary's, like... I, I, had no call, I had no idea that edibles took a while to kick in. I think about forty five minutes. I know, but I had yeah, no idea. Either. I had no idea when I first ate. I was like, yeah, like in ten minutes I'll be Dude, fucking blazed. And the yeah. thing is, is like edibles you get from like the weed store now, like they don't taste like weed, but these <laughs> fucking <laughs> these ones, cookies yeah. they yeah. were disgusting. They were. Dude, they were so hard to eat. They were, I remember you I'd, had to have a glass of milk with it. <laughs> I'd, buy, I'd buy six of them and I'd yeah. save like three or four for like just later dates. Yeah. And when you would eat like a two week old half ass <laughs> <Yeah>. cookie. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, these right. kids will never know, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's never like that anymore either. No, and that and that was the shit you'd do. You'd <laughs> you'd go up to these two hippies that just had one fucking cooler box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you can tell because they're old motherfuckers. You can tell because yeah. their huts would be covered and their blinds would be closed so no cops could look in yeah. and see what they're giving away. Dude, I just remember, like, like we were just thinking, because I forgot how we even found out about Hempfest. Me? Because the year before, my stepsister went. Oh. And she was like, yeah, I bought these apples. They're pretty good. And I remember me. I remember me and you guys. I, I remember me and you guys at the second. Like, the second time I went there, I think it was your guys' first time going. That's when I saw you guys there. It might have been. I don't yeah. remember. I remember seeing you at one of them. Yeah, I think that was your guys' first time going. Yeah. The second one we went, we fucking and there's there's a whole better story for the first one than that was already because I was already living up there. Mm-hmm. That I'll tell eventually, but fucking, I just remember the second one we went to McDonald's after, and there's this fat ass motherfucker working. And I just... Yeah. Kept looking at him, and I just kept laughing, and I, <laughs> and I, I couldn't stop, like... <laughs> Being high and looking at him. Yeah. They got so pissed off at us. Dude. Or no, wasn't it like a worker or something like that? Yeah. 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 But the best story was, out of all of it, is like, at the first time fest, it kicked in, like, for all of us at the exact same time. All at Subway. <laughs> and dude, Subway's the worst place to go to eat when you're stoned. <laughs> Like that stone, because you, know? you gotta give you gotta give the fucking sandwich artist the fucking step the by order. step directions yeah. on how you yeah. want your shit, and we're rolling in six deep. <laughs> All of us huge. <laughs> And I'm talking this we, go, we got a combined weight of like 900 pounds and Cole <laughs> just contributing only 106. <laughs> and this is after Literally at that time. Is starfish. <laughs> that, that, that was just before the oh, starfish. Was this a before? <laughs> yeah. Oh, then we went to... Oh, yeah. Then we went back. Yeah. Yeah, but I just remember um, it hit Tree when he was in line what? taking his order for a Subway sandwich and... I remember we we always go through phases like me and Treeb always eat the same shit from Subway, yeah. and I know exactly what he wanted, and the he just says meatball marinara toasted. <laughs> that's and then, not what I then mean. that then then that's when it hit you. I'm pretty sure wasn't it? Well, so what happened was was I freaking went in, and I was the last in line, and Colton. I just, I, was, I, I had, like, severe, I had severe, I had severe anxiety, I feel like, because I had, like, Colton in front of me, I was behind him, and there was somebody I didn't know next to me behind me, and, like, everybody else had a buddy in front of him and a buddy in back of him, I was like, what the fuck, and then I go up there, and I get a meatball marinara, and they're like, do you want toasted? I go, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so they have to microwave it. <laughs> they got they got to microwave it for the a solid, meatballs. A solid minute. <laughs> And I'm just sitting there stoned, and she's like, what vegetables do you want on it? And I'm like, lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> so she throws fucking lettuce on it, and she's like, that's all you want? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a fucking cold meatball marinara with lettuce. <laughs> and, like, and like I look at my hands, and, like, my hands are so fucking big, and I try to get my wallet out. <laughs> I can't get my wallet out of my fucking pants because, like, I can't I put my hand I remember helping you with that. And then Colton <laughs> sticks his hand down in my fucking pocket to get my wallet out and pays for it. <laughs> I remember when it hit me, too, because it was in Subway, and I was looking at the menu. And I already know what I... I get the same thing everywhere I go. I have something picked out that I like. Yeah. 
And so, like, I get to the menu, and for some reason, I'm scouting the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try something. I'm like, whoa, that. there's a lot of options up here on this board today. <laughs> and so, like, it just, like, hit me, and I was like, oh, God. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Dude, I just remember fucking, like, we, we couldn't all sit in, like, the same general vicinity. <laughs> Dude, like, that was, like, one thing that was just a bitch about the whole thing. And Bri- and I sit next to Bryce, <laughs> and Bryce comes and sits next to me. <laughs> Bart's sitting on my upside. I and thought then, I was with Barnett. No, no, I sat with Barnett. No, because oh. it started with me and Bryce sitting across from each other. And Barnett's like, fuck you, Bryce. could make me sit alone. <laughs> yeah. And then Bryce just sat up and went and sat next to Barnett. And Barnett was good the whole time. He made his yeah. sandwich order. He was good. And then I sat, I decided to sit with him because he called me, you know, <laughs> calling us out right there in some way. And so... Uh, <laughs> He's getting like probably about halfway through his sandwich, and he just looks at me, and he's just out of it right there. He's like, <laughs> and then he looks at me, and says, "Bryce, I feel it." Is that's what that's all he said. I think I was like halfway through my sandwich too. <laughs> it was, I was hilarious. Like, Damn. I'm baked. Well, because we sat in the subway parking lot and laughed for like forty minutes. I remember that. Yeah. And then we just drove the the. Target. Party. No, we went back to Headfest oh, for a yeah, little yeah. bit. That's and when Marge we, went uh, starfish. And then we drove to fucking the Winco to Winco and took a nap in the Winco parking lot. Yeah. Like an hour or two. Dude, and you great. know what's funny is like we mapped out our second Hempfest trip like to just do exactly <laughs> what we did. During we're gonna the, go to Subway, but we went to McDonald's instead. And then we're gonna pass out in the Winco parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too baked. Honestly. Don't drive under the influence, but I was so baked when I drove home from every single hunt fest. It was yeah. bad. Illegal. We all had the comfy fits bed after we got back, though, so we were good. <laughs> yeah. Everybody see, hit the I'm couches. Like, I'm like that every day. I slept, I slept on the couch for sure. Yeah, everybody. That first hunt fest. Arturo we pulled up, ran in and I, I, yeah, me and Arturo ran to your yeah. bed, and we both passed out in there. Yeah, I'm not high every day, boys. Are you? Yeah, but I fight through that. Because you're uh, a beast. We well, were like 15 years old at the time. True. We weren't real trappers. No. We were literally just beginning our careers. I True. Was, I was already trapping. Yeah, I, I, started, trapping. I, start, I started my trap career when I was young. When I was, bo- when I was a wee boy, about 12. How old were you when you started <coughs> smoking weed? When I started smoking weed, I was 11. 11? Yeah. How the fuck did you get weed when you were eleven? My brother. Oh. My oldest brother. My oldest sense. brother. My oldest brother, Nick. Cold child, blue. Um, the first time I ever smoked weed was with Cameron and Nick. And Nick, it was. Yeah. Was it eighth grade going into ninth grade? No, it was seventh I feel like grade. That was the same. No, grade. I. I cause oh, I, you didn't smoke seventh grade. No. It was eighth grade going. No, because we. It no, was eighth grade going into ninth. Grade. No, because that's when we had that big fight. Was eighth grade going into ninth grade, and we didn't hang out at all ninth grade. Remember, me, you, and Nick didn't hang out at all ninth grade. No way. Yeah, that, that that's when me and you had that big fight. Yeah. So it, it had to have been eighth grade. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. It was. It was. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? We, yeah, because we didn't hang out at all my freshman year. Because I remember when me and Nick. Went to go sign up for football. Mm-hmm. My mom and his mom looked at each other and they're like, "Boys can be boys." And they're like, "Yeah, I haven't seen Nick around in a little bit." And she's like, "Yeah, I haven't seen Cameron around either." And we just didn't even talk to each other. Yeah. Cause I could, man. Cause I I remember getting high before school a couple times in the ninth grade. <laughs> dude, I the first time I smoked was it might have. Dude, that's a long time. Well, 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 I know, well, I know the first grade. time. I know the first time you smoked was with me and Nick, but it had to be in eighth grade. Because I know you didn't do it seventh grade. The first year me and Nick did it. Because me and Nick, Nick's first year smoking was seventh grade. And I smoked before Nick. I really? I feel like Nick didn't even like start smoking that much before me. No, he, he started. I don't remember. It was, it was when Jake uh, came over. Well, he was living yeah. there, but what Jake came out that one night when me and him were playing. He's like, hey, you guys want to smoke? And I was like, of course I do, but Nick's a pussy. <laughs> I won't do it. And Nick was like, bet, bet your ass I will. Oh, wasn't it because, like, you guys couldn't get alcohol that night or something yeah. like that? I you couldn't that. get alcohol, yeah. I 
feel like all of us who had a moment with Nick where we smoked. Especially, yes. Especially I have. in <laughs> that treehouse. Yeah. Dude, yeah, me yeah, and dude. Barnes no. smoked at Nick's treehouse on a whim the day before graduation. I think me and Nick smoked in that tree. Me, you, and Nick smoked in that treehouse. The first time I hung out with you. Was... And it's a nice treehouse. Yeah. Well, I, nice I don't know. Did you ever see when it was like refurbished? Yeah, I saw it. Because he put like carpet in there and he had yeah, like a TV that. and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah it was I saw super that. nice. Yeah, and I saw all that. And we just just get baked in there. <laughs> that was like one of the first times we hung out. Was in I remember Jake house. used to live up there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, no. He'd smoke tobacco out of his tobacco pipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember yelling at him because I was like, "I was like, Jake, let me fucking hit that." And he's like, "No, you're not old enough." I'm like, "What the fuck? You want to smoke weed? You want me to smoke book, fucking smoke tobacco?" Yeah, you. Fuck? You give me I got, alcohol. I got pissed <laughs> every time. I got so pissed. I was like, "Let me fucking smoke it." And he's like, "No." I'm like, fuck you. I hated it. I got so I got so angry. Dude, I mean, so the first time I spoke was probably seventh grade, going into eighth grade. Damn. So I was probably fourteen. Fucking out of a vaporizer. And those things get you just toasted. Those like are rough. Usually, those are rough. Dude, those are classic. Those I remember taste. the first time. Dude, because that's what we need, right? Like, I mean, we don't need it, like in all actuality, but like just for like. Aesthetic, or however you say the word, aesthetic, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We need a vaporizer and a fucking hookah. Dude. Dude, I fucking. A hookah is such a waste of money. It's so stupid. I know. Those are dope. But dude, hookahs are so hookahs dope. Hookahs are dope. I They're like They're so them. dope to just have. Where's the other one that you had? Oh, it, did, it broke, didn't it? Yeah. How I, think, I think I broke one. And that would make this place smell so bad so quick. The hookah? Yeah. I don't know. We can always smoke it outside on the Flavor. porch. Uh, yeah, just run a hookah. Yeah, we're gonna start smoking hookah again. It's not some whims. These are fucking. It's like a once every two year deal. Because <laughs> uh. we, I used to smoke hookah freaking when Jamin and fucking Garrett had a hookah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they have like hookah bars in Oregon. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. They cool. basically have them everywhere except you know our little town of. In Idaho. Our big little town. You ever realize how big Lewiston is without, like, not being shit? Idaho is, well, Lewiston is the eighth biggest city in Idaho. Yeah, but the biggest city in Idaho only has, like, 80,000 people in it. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, Lewiston's That's the thing. I mean, Idaho and, like, Rhode Island, the smallest state, have the almost the exact same population. It's like just barely over. Rhode the Island, end. you can get anywhere in forty five minutes though. Yeah. Like there's nothing, no traffic. That's just. Yeah, but there's over a million people that live there, and there's barely over a million people that that's live wild. in Idaho. There's. That's I feel like Idaho. That I, I think Idaho's been many, growing that little. Idaho's little definitely space. been growing. I think it's like one of the fastest growing states because everybody from California wants to live here. Yeah, yeah it's so weird. I don't understand yeah. that. Like this is so back ass words from fucking California. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends like where they move in Idaho. But yeah, again, I also know a lot of gang people want to move out of there, so they come up here because they know it's not gang. Yeah, because they know it's not gang. The kid I used to work with that's the reason he moved to well he lived in Clarkston but he moved here because he was in some shit in Cali he was selling like heroin or something like that he was selling heroin and he apparently like when you're selling heroin and shit like that in like some parts of California where he was from some like gangs have taxes that they will collect from people that other people that are selling dope Mm -hmm. they go because it's their block yeah it's their block it's their territory so they'll come collect taxes from all the drug dealers, and I guess this kid I was working with wouldn't pay the drug dealers, and so they had a fucking a wanted sign on his head, basically. So he like Damn. moved here. That's rugged. Yeah, and I, he said he was he was making like so much money selling heroin. If they ever catch weird that he lives up here, they will come up here for him. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly why. But they'll never know that he comes. They'll never know where he lives. Mm-hmm. So that's just funny. That's just fucked. I mean, but he just went to jail recently. That's oh, funny. really? Yeah. He bitch slapped his baby mama and then threatened yeah. to kill like four people. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And he assaulted somebody, so like he's going to be like doing like seven years. <laughs> so GG's. Yeah, they probably, know, they probably know now. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I know a bunch of people from like the San Bernardino area. So and like all, all, all like the all the people that I know down there, they just want to come up here because it's just not a good area to live in. Yeah, it's it, there's no gangs here. It's such an average place. Mm-hmm. 
It's not too bad. It's I remember when bad. I was like in the seventh or eighth grade, there was like some like little gang in Lucen. They call them something. The two hundred eights or something. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Bunch of little kids, one of these. Well, no, it wasn't even like they were like high schoolers. I remember they went to. It's crazy because like one of their first gang related activities, quote unquote, they went to my mom's ex husband's or ex boyfriend's house that we used to all live there. Yeah. And uh, so like you know Austin, my cousin. Yeah. I lived with him, mm-hmm. and like they're all hicks or whatever, they're dipping and they were they would drink, you know, and I guess like they came they're coming for Austin, but they beat his friend up and said thinking it was Austin, they like beat his ass with hammers and shit like that, Damn. broke his jaw, fractured his skull, punctured a lung and shit like yeah. that, and I was like upstairs just like I guess I was high or sleeping or something like yeah. that, and. Yeah, fucking, they, like, almost killed this kid thinking it was my cousin. That's oh, so... I remember, I remember that. And then, like, apparently they, like, raped somebody or something like that, and then, like, after that, it was nothing. <clears throat> it was, like, a weird thing. I don't know if you guys... Well, I mean, that wasn't that... Yeah. I mean, we always, like, show up on, like, cold case file shows because of that one fucking murder deal that was here. Oh, yeah. Or, like, in a Southern County or yeah. something. It was... In Nez Perce. I think it was here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I know we're pretty deep, and I know no one it, no one in the Valley is going to hear about this. But uh, one of the members at where I work at, got in, their wife and husband got into an altercation recently. And they own one of the, they own one of the stores here that funds my work. Part, like, partly funds it. And they got into an argument to where the wife ended up throwing a knife at her husband and ended up stabbing him in the gut. Jesus. Recently. Like, last week. Damn. And it was in the newspaper a couple days ago. I think I heard about that or something. Yeah. Something like that. And they're they're members at at my club. Yeah. It's big wild. I mean, I guess wild shit happens here. Wild shit does happen here, but we just don't hear about it. It's just not as often. Yeah, it's not as often. Wild shit's gonna happen no matter where you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Like, here's the only thing you really got is, like, meth heads. <laughs> that, they call it Craxton for a reason. Yeah. Dude, it's so bad where I work now. Like, freaking. Mm-hmm. Well, I, oh, bet, dude, I, bet, I bet you work with. At dude, least... Working at any grocery no, store. No, no, not like with who I work with, but just people that come in. No, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. if you work at any grocery store, you'll see the worst of it. Yeah, yeah. you see all the crackheads. The question ones with the food stamps. That's where, that's where they're the most. Yeah, like every first of the month. So I work at Albertsons. Oh, I bet the first of the month. First of the month is horrible, dude. It's like literally the most busy fucking day. And it's literally like a lot of like really low income people or like crackheads. Yeah. And they're just fucking... All of them just have their mouths just wide open. <laughs> they, just got, they just got their fucking check fund. All crackheads just always have a wide open mouth all the time. They got their unemployment. Either that they or like their, their lower check. lip is way above their upper lip. Yeah. You know? They got their unemployment check. Dude, like, literally, ooh. every crackhead I see always has their like mouth just wide open. Uh, you know, just fucking higher. Uh, yeah, they, can't clo- they just can't close their jaw. Yeah. Dude, I mean. They got locked jaw. Dude, they get crazy, like, yeah. so many of them, because, like, the smoking area where I work is, like, literally right in front. Yeah. Crackhead city right there. Dude, crackheads will just, like, go in the rocks and find cigarette butts and mm-hmm. just fucking, like, light up the cigarette butts. Oh, yeah. Dude, I freaking, so, like, I'm training for that new thing at Albertsons, and, uh, literally the other day, uh, the grocery manager, he's training me. You, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, we had to, like, call the cops on this guy, because, like, so he was, like, stealing shit, and then he was, like, hanging out outside. He was, like, he was doped up, dude. I think he was high on heroin, honestly. Really? Yeah, because he was, he had, like, all this shit, like, on the stairs near, like, the left of our building, and, like, he was, like, upstairs. He was just, like, rocking back and forth, and Grant... Or the guy, yeah, you, you know, funny. whatever, Grant, the grocery manager, says, um, they're like, are you all right? He's, and he, like, just starts blabbing about something, like, just totally unrelated. And he, my grocery manager just goes, did you, did you steal some earbuds? And he's like, no, man, I've had these. And he's like, well, what about that other stuff? You steal that stuff? 
And he's like, oh, no. And, like, he started doing, like, a DUI test. <laughs> Rick and twacked out. Two cop uh-huh. cars came and took him away because he was so twacked. I, I, I love watching crackheads and, get like, arrested. Store it's, shit. So, it's, the, it's the funniest thing in the world Dude, watching a crackhead so get arrested. Exactly when they fight bad. Dude, like, there's like cops like, out Walmart almost every day. Oh, every yeah, day there's cops that, out Walmart every day. Every day. That's horrible. And freaking Clarkson cops are dicks. Yeah, they're never hard. been pulled over by them. Cops. Because in uh, in Clarkson, so in Washington, when cops go through their uh, their training or whatever, uh-huh. like the rookie cops get sent to Clarkson. Oh really? Yeah. So you know they're all just like brand new jobs, just like dick hard as fuck, you know. Oh, there's, so, there's like twenty five year olds. They, 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 they get so power hungry. Oh trying yeah, to prove dude. themselves. Oh yeah, they'll prove yeah. themselves. And they'll the women, the women are worse. The women are the worst. My, 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 when my mom was a probation and parole officer, she had to work with them, yeah. work with some of them, and she said the women were the worst. They were so power hungry. They wanted to get to the top so quick. Oh, dude, every single yeah, Clark's yeah. is bad. That's what I would imagine. I mean. You get any rookie in any situation that just like, yeah, it could literally be for anything. Oh yeah, they want it bad, dude. Like honestly, their handcuffs are pink. It's because so, they try to make people feel like little bitches. It's so wild, like <laughs> even like this new job I'm getting now. Like I just want to be the best. Yeah, dude, that's just like all oh, that's all it is like right now. Yeah, because like I'm just so fast. <laughs> I just dude, I just get the shit done. I just know the speed do. through. Like that's one of like the rare things is like. When I have regular jobs, it's hard for me to kind of, like, figure out what the fuck I'm gonna, like, what I'm doing. I yeah. Just get this. Like, just fucking yeah. give me the ball, I'll fucking score every time. <laughs> give me the ball, I'll score every fucking time. Every time. <clears throat> it's the beauty of it. I mean, that's kind of just the mind state you gotta have, I feel like. Yeah. But it sucks because freaking you and Cam missed one of the... Oh, it was not like a terrific game, but it was. Oh man! It was. It was something. I had to work. I couldn't get out of it. Back air food. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, no, I couldn't get out of that. Just, just the moment. You know exactly what moment I'm talking about. Ooh, which one? He already forgot. I can't believe it. So when I, Barn laid oh, out. Barn? Gee, when yeah, when Barn laid the. Oh food. yeah, dude, that was true. So I've already told the story. Tell it from your perspective. I mean, I got a full view of it, you know, because I was playing safety at this point. We had it whole planned out with Lage, because, you know, he's always trying to do squirrely routes. Yeah. And we're not... He's a squirrely guy. We're just not as athletically fit yeah. like Lage is. Trackstar he's a, he's over here. a college athlete. Yeah, Trackstar over here is, like, just not even... He would trying. lap all of us in a mile. Exactly. He wouldn't lap me. He wouldn't. That's exactly what Cameron said. He would not lap you me. Too, you too. Honestly, like me and Cameron, I don't think we'd get lapped. I think you'd get lapped. Dude, in he a run, mile? No. He runs no so. Way. How fast do you think he could run a mile? Fucking Full speed. in like. Nine minutes. <laughs> four. He averages a 445. Exactly. He wouldn't lap me. That's a five minute difference, dude. You'd be five minutes it's behind. Not five minutes. You'd dude. be five minutes behind what he's already done. No. You're telling me you'll be on your last lap when he's done. Yeah, but he won't fucking lap me. He will lap. <laughs> he's gonna lap you, dude. dude there's no. Okay. At fucking one eight point, minutes. He won't be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Dude. You're not even gonna make it to eight minutes. He's Bryce, gonna lap you. Th- Bryce, you think you could run a fifteen minute mile? <laughs> I don't think I could run a fifteen minute mile. I don't think I don't think I could run I think like Jeez. I've set the bar low for myself. I'd say if I ran an eleven minute mile, I'd be proud. <laughs> Just you to can set, look, just, bro, just, I would just to, you at least just, once. Just to set the bar there, so like when I get like eleven a, minute, like eight. a nine minute mile, like okay, so if you could get a nine minute mile, I could get a three minute mile. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd say nine or ten, dude. I would be at least two minutes faster than you. La, uh, let's see what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah. forty seconds. 30, 40 seconds. No, you're, what? Sure, you're for sure be a minute faster. Two minutes. Because yeah. cause I know. Two. Because I know for a fact I'm gonna be way faster than you, and I'm gonna be faster than Colton. Yeah, I know you're gonna walk the short sides, and then you're gonna run the big sides. So <laughs> I won't stop. Like, if, yes, you will. If we, will. if we had like a mile and we got like into it, not like I'm not saying give me a fucking week to get in shape. I'm just saying if we all we decide, have a, we have that no, mile no, for no. the crew competition. I know, but I'm saying that like. 
And we should just do this soon. Like, if someone slid up... Miles. Well, it's getting warmer, so we should. If, and we live right by it. Yeah. If um, someone slid up in the group chat and said, Hey, who wants to run a mile today? And at least six of us ran, I'll compete. <laughs> like, I'll try. You know how hard it would be? Like, you see how it says at least six of us. Dude, six? Um, that's all of us. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's us five and then literally just... That's four. Lane Lane Jameson. Jameson. This, is, this is four if you can count. Jameson, yeah, Lane and Lane. Oh, yeah, four, and sorry. Barn. Yeah, Barn, I don't think Barn would do it. Barn wouldn't do it. He would do it. Barn, no. I know Jameson, for, Jameson, Leighton would. Jameson, Jameson no. Hell no. He works Jameson. out. I think he'd do it. He would yeah. not. You want to do the mile. Do you think you could beat Jameson in a mile? Yes. I do. Really? Oh, I know Fitz could. <laughs> I know Fitz could beat Trevin, too. I don't think... I think Trevor runs his mile in like 15 minutes. No, dude, like I would bust ass, I promise you. So you say you'd get a 9 minute mile. 10, sure. at work. You said 10? I would be... I put the bar at 11 just That's so perfect. like if I succeed yeah. past it, it's it not makes sharp me feel good. But like, honestly. I'm gonna go by one. Like, if I, had, if, I had, if I had to guess like an honest like time, yeah. 1025. 1025? If you can get ten twenty five, I can at least get eight, eight minutes. I'll at least get seven then. I'll get. I'd hope to get nine. No, nine. Then hope. Lane's running a two minute mile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're making it less than fifteen minutes, I think dude, I will make, make it. I can <laughs> care, I will bet you a hundred dollars. I'd do it under fifteen. I think minutes. if we're going try hard, I think Lage. I think any of us could get it in less than fifteen. I think if we're going try hard, I think Lage is gonna get four. 30. No, he's not that quick anymore. He's not going to get that quick. He'll no, still get he five. He'll get a at five. At least five. He'll get a five. five I'll get a six. six. But that's an average. I'll get a six. You'll get a six? If I'm pushing. I'm still somewhat in shape. That's probably true. I'll, I'm going to yeah. try. If I'm, I'm pushing, gonna really I'm, you know, yeah, I'm, gonna, if I'll, I'm pushing, I, I, I'll I'm be, getting There'll six. be a couple times where it might be like this on the track. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be walking the short sights. Yeah, you know it. Dude, you know don't worry about I it. I promise you I'll put in effort. <laughs> Dude, that's, all, that's, that's what I'm saying. How long do I got until this? Dude, I I'll do it out tomorrow. Every day. We're going to go out tomorrow. Not tomorrow. <laughs> I ain't doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow when I get off work. <laughs> yeah, at 11, at we'll turn 11 the stadium, stadium yeah. lights on. Yeah. The stadium lights on. Yeah. No, I really think I could run a under 10 minute mile, I bet. Damn, no, no way. I don't even remember what my... Time was the best mile school. time I ever got in elementary was like eight minutes. The best I got was like, I don't know, like eight fifty. <laughs> yeah, I seriously one. don't remember. I always, I just remember I because I, I placed walked, second. I, you it was second. Yeah, dude, my class was so unathletic. Yeah, dude, my <laughs> class was athletic as hell. Dude, and you was, were first. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Branson Beverly got first. Yeah, I got with second, how much? How much time? And Sierra think? got third. How much time do you think Rance Beverly put in? Seven. Seven minutes. Yeah, that seven. was probably his. I'm telling you right now, Kelsey Camps. <laughs> oh my! Kane Timmit. Yeah, chill out with the last name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kane's yeah. been on the podcast. Yeah, Kane Timmit. He's been on the podcast, and a few other of them. They they finished probably before six. All that, what? Like, there was five that finished before six minutes. Dude, and you'd run, so you know at Orchard's like those back stops? Yeah. That you'd run four around times. the wrap stops. Four times. Four yeah, times. that's how it was. We, at, I've, I, haven't been, I haven't been to Camelot. I haven't been to Camelot. Camelot's basically, times. it's the same distance. Yeah. And I remember in the fifth grade, um, I won't say his last name, but uh, Ethan used to be a rapper. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah. he had the fastest time in our Damn. class. I don't doubt it. He literally had like a five minute mile. <laughs> Some crazy. He like did cross that. country and track. Yeah. Did he know. really? Yeah, when we were youngins. Huh. Yeah, he put in some work. No. Do you guys remember who was really fast? Fat or fast? No. Do you guys remember who was really fast? Who? Angelo. Oh, dude, he low key was. True. Angelo. Do you remember him? That guy. Dude, we yeah. had like beef for no reason. I was one of his sure. first. I was one of his first friends when he came to Orchards too, because everyone would make fun of him. I was like, bro, I'm like, I honestly kind of like you. I think you're kind of cool. My first memory with that kid I like video games. was he. We were partners yeah. for a project, and he asked me if I knew what an orgasm was. Yeah. And I said, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, it's when the girl cuts your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, damn. <laughs> 
I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that's how sex ends? Yeah, I didn't know that. I oh, haven't oh. finished the porn video. I just fucking skip it. Oh, that's great. We're going to take a quick time out here, and we will be back with more CrewCast content. You're listening to CrewCast episode number 26. Thanks, Twisted T. <laughs> yeah, like earlier this year, I was running like 440, but I haven't ran for a while, so earlier it would definitely year. be like five. It'd be like 515. I'm just saying, saying five, you would not lap. I think you'd lap. I think you'd lap everybody. Okay, if he's saying 515, you think I run a mile in less than? Well, if Colt fucking minutes. walks or jo- like fucking. No, we're talking. Takes a damn break. That I'm smart? <laughs> Probably. If Cold starts walking, then he might be All right. in trouble. Oh, okay. Lage, so right. settle this debate here. So it's me, you, Bryce, Cold, Cameron, Jameson. How fast do you think Jameson can run a mile? How what? How fast do you think Jameson can run a mile? How is your internet this shot, lady? <laughs> <laughs> this fucker. I'm gonna get him back. I started recording because I thought he was gonna say more quotable shit. Let's see. Well, Wage made an appearance on the podcast for the first time, but I think that's gonna wrap things up here on the crew cast. Uh,. If we ever do that mile, hopefully it'll be by Crewcast episode twenty-seven, <laughs> and we could we could update you guys on how it goes. Cole, do you got any final words for the people? Um, I just want you guys to have the best day ever, have the best day of your life. Just do it. Fits. Just go live it up, man. Have a good day, guys. All right, thank you guys for coming through to the Crewcast, and you guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs>